In this video, let's take a look at the third query method, which is get by placeholder text. Get by placeholder text will search for all elements with a placeholder attribute and find one that matches the given text. Let's understand its usage with an example. We are once again going to use the application component. For the input element, I'm going to now add the placeholder attribute and set it to full name. Now we can find this element in our test using the get by placeholder text query. In application.test.tsx, let's write one more way to query the name element. Const name element 3 is equal to screen dot get by placeholder text and the placeholder is full name. In the next line, expect name element three to be in the document. If we save the file, the test passes. If I now change the placeholder to just full name without the E, Save the file and we can see the test fails. Our query method works as expected. To summarize, get by placeholder text will search for all elements with a placeholder attribute and find one that matches the given text. We added a placeholder to our input element and found it in our test using get by placeholder text. With that, we have now covered three query methods. We have five more to go, so let's keep going. I'll see you in the next one.